All right, guys, how you going? It's so Mason Corby from Down Under Dynamics here. Um, just gonna talk a little bit about Object Boogie and what's going on with that. So I'm a bit of the brains behind Object Boogie, building a lot of the objects and stuff like that. I hit uh, Roger from Funny Farm up a while ago to see if we could just do an event all based around throwing things out of the plane. So I'm just trying to come up with some new ideas, uh, some old ideas, just like the kegs here. You can see, just filling them up, been painting them. Uh, welded them all together, like all the cut all the centers out. I'm gonna put concrete inside of them as well. You can see all the concrete I've got over here. Bags and bags of concrete. These weights, these are gonna go inside the big kahuna bomb. We're gonna try and make this fly on a bit of an angle. Okay, so we can angle fly with it. And I've been printing up a whole heap of uh, tails and fins to go on it. So you can see a whole heap of different iterations here. It's been a massive test phase but it's been going really good. So inside this area here, a uh, reserve pilot should be sitting there and it will pop out once it hits a certain altitude with the cypress attached. Okay, so that's gonna be attached there and you'll see the wings or the tail. It's gonna be put on like that. Okay, so we'll have two of them. We're gonna have a whole heap of spares of these. I'll be bringing the 3D printer out so we can uh, do as many jumps as we can with it. We got the new Teresa here. I think we're gonna call her Elaine. Okay, we'll dress her up a little bit more than she, that now. She's a bit naked at the moment. Uh, got her reserve there that we're working on. Okay, so I'll be finishing packing that up soon. All the concrete, as I said, for the, 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 the kegs, we're gonna be filling them up as well. Got the little spinner here and a couple other little objects here you can see. Okay, so these are some ones we're gonna be filling with weight. We wanna just test how they fly. It's one of testing the tail fell off it. A couple different designs, some uh, familiar designs you might see from Starship and all that kind of stuff from uh, Elon Musk and uh, the Dream Chaser. And that one has flown the best so far. That's really good. I've been testing a lot of these stuff in the uh, water down the creek, just some sort of a fluid. Whole heap of sky walls. Okay, we've written the weights on them. Okay, a couple of various rates. We find 580 is pretty good speed. So I've got a couple of 580s, 575s, 590s, maybe a 600 or so. We saw the spray paint, some weighted balls. Oh, that's too heavy to pick up with one hand. Same with that, okay. My little sand pit I've been filling them all with. You can see a bit of a deflated one here. These ones I took inspiration off uh, bodies in the tunnel. So if we just do this in a tunnel, imagine our head's over this end here, it's gonna fly like this, okay. So we've got a couple with like some wide body arms, normal arms. Narrow legs with wide arms. This one flies pretty good so far. That's the that's the pick of the bunch, or this one here because it's nice and even. So these will actually not fly like this. They're actually going to fly like that. So the arms will always stay vertical. We found. Okay. So a bit of acetone, and you can see what happens when things go wrong on the 3D prints. They don't really like to work too much sometimes. So you've got to keep checking these things. That's the thing I found a whole heap. So we'll have a look real, real quick right now at the inside of this object, okay? And I'll take you in and show you the 3D printer stuff that we've been doing. So if we sit her down here, we'll just undo this knob. This allows the top to come off. Crack it like an egg. And this is where the reserve will be attached to. What we can do to weight it, we're gonna be sliding these weights here on top of this, through this as she goes up. Stick her all down. <laughs> as you can see, there's a bit going on here with it all. But these weights, they're quite heavy. I'll slide straight down on. So that's what's gonna keep it quite heavy. So it's weighted at about probably, oh, I'd say we've got about 20 kilos on each side. So it could be 40 kilos. We've got another 10, two tens. Just depends on what the reserve is gonna be like as well. So we're gonna spray all this up, sticker it up really well as well, make it look all nice and shiny. And then the goal is to do multiple jumps with it make sure they're flying on an angle and have a whole crew doing it. Who knows, I might be able to hop on and ride it. That'd be bloody awesome if I could ride the bomb. And yeah, so they're all the, the different ones we have for out here. 
have to spray paint that one in a sec. Finish this off, one off today. Gonna put the uh, tail on, as I said. See how that goes. And Bob's your uncle. I'll right, we'll take you in real quick and show you the uh, 3D printer and what's been going on in here. All right, so this is the room. I've been doing a lot of 3D printing. You can see here as well, all the different models. All right, this is kind of a test one that we've done to see what the, the bomb would fly with. It's full of polyper lead as well. Another little test one. These ones here. So if these all go well, we can upscale them to a larger uh, design and just print them in a larger scale, just fill them with concrete and weight as well. You can see the 3D printer going at the moment, print another tail for us, making sure that goes really well. And obviously all the other equipment and gear. Big thank you to Cypress for sending us a whole heap of uh, flags and, and units. You see a bunch of units. And this. Thank you to you guys. I think Vigil's gonna be doing the same. They'll also be sending us a bunch of units so we can use on some kegs, and some stuff like that as well. All right, so well, I better get back to it. Lots to do, only about a week and a half to go. It's been a massive process, but it's been absolutely fun. I feel like a mad scientist in his garage, just building stuff, so. We'll crack at it. I think next thing is going to be finishing the football off in the sand. Finishing this big kahuna off. Got to take up to Brett's next week to get all the reserves put on these. Putting a little bit of a close on good old Elaine here. And then filling these things with some concrete and stencil on them. Getting that duff can going. The DD one, got a manufacturing one going and we got the barbecue out there for Cypress as well. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one.